זוהר פרשת פיקודי ליום ראשון. סובלי פיקודי המשכן, משכן העדות אשר פוקד על פי משה וגומר. So these are all the details, all the orders of the Mishkan uh, that Hashem told Moshe. Rabbi Yesa Amar, Kivan de Audu Kola Hakimiya, Get Mishkana, Isare de Medar, Fosh Bena, Mikol Inun, Avinan, It Avidube. So since all these Chachamim did the Mishkan, when they built it, They had to, to make sure of all the, uh, the accounts and of all the measurements, because as we know, when the, uh, the building of the Mishkan is described in the parasha, we have all this measure, this was uh, this long, and this one this short, and this one had to be this way, and this way, there was all type of measures, very precise measures, how the Mishkan was supposed to be built. Matama, why? Begin the whole Khushban, the Khushban, Kadava itaved Khushbena. And the reason is because all this measurement and all these uh, sums uh, were necessary to do this work. Uh, why? Because you, 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 could, you could ask, you know, why do we need all these measures? Uh, you know, this was only for that particular time. It was, the, it was, it was built in the desert and it's not going to happen today. So what do we need all the time to read in the Torah exactly the, the exact measurements? Okay, so we'll, we'll see that one of the reasons because all these measurements represent supernal powers. So that it, they have to be very precise to have a keshe with those powers. It says also here that since Hashem had to put his uh, presence, well, not, of course, not all his presence, but some of his presence there, it has to correspond to very special measurements and details. Since they all did... They all did the Nedava, right? They all uh, made offerings to bring this, uh, to, to build this uh, Mishkan. Uh, so they also realized that all these uh, uh, measurements and accounts were very necessary. And all this, this Avoda, all this work, huh? That they did, they saw that it corresponded to a will. That's why it was all these uh, numbers and accounts were needed because this is what was necessary to do this work. In other words, the Mishkan was not to be built like like some whoever thought like maybe Bezalel said, you know, it should be like this or like that. Let's make it nicer or let's make it taller. No. It had to be very precisely according to this measurements. Erakitiv, as it is written, is, it, no, it says, Ela kitiv, velo kitiv ele. It's written ele and not written ve ele. Because we know that ele annuls what it comes before. Ela da iu khushbana de pasil kol khushbanin de alma. Because we know that all these measurements. Right? Since it's written Ele, means annuls everything that was before. And it says also here, why? Because there's a knowledge that says, En belacha shura bo, vela belacha shura ela bidvach asamui minayin. He said the belacha is only on something that is discreet, that is not available for everyone to see. That's why. Uh, You know, discretion sometimes brings the Viracha. And this this uh, Cheshbonot, this uh, all these accounts, you see, it was also very important because it was not for another account, it was particularly for this. This measurement was especially for the Mishkan. But 
עושה נשורות חוכמת ודעת, יראת השם, היא אוצרו. נשעיה, איזי הכירה או כמיהה חבריה, זה פסוק, וחברים try to explain it. אבל, התננה על כל בר נש, תתעסק באורייתא והעלמא, וזכה למקווה עתין לה, תסתכל באמונה דלעותא דלעי. התכוון לגשוב דיחו. כי הוא לומד שאם אדם לומד, שתדעי את התורה בזה העולם, וגם הוא עושה את זה בפרטיקולר פעמים, שבו הוא יכול ללמוד. והוא נמצא באמונה, והוא צריך להיות גם באמונה. למה? כי הוא נמצא עם הרצון של השם. התכוון לשם שמיים, בגין באמונה להכי התכוון. And he has to have uh, an intention that is Lishem Shamayim, not for uh, any kind of personal interest. Bishwil, huh? because what the Imuna, when we said Imuna, since you give moments, particular moments and regular moments to study the Torah, whether it's like every morning from a certain hour or every night, whatever. Okay, so at that particular moment, there is uh, like an, an, an alliance with the person and the Shekhinah. And what this alliance does, okay, it brings the Rachamim and it annuls all the Dinim. And when we say also Chochmah Vadaat, right, because it's just... The one on top of the other, right? We know in the order of the Sefirot, you have Chochmah Bina on top, and then that under them, right? So, it is, so what, we all, what do we also talk about, that, about Bina? That Amir Veganiz, La Shera Da'ada. Because this Midah of Bina, it, it is inside the Chochmah. Because we know what is the, what is the difference. Because chokma is like the general knowledge, right? And bina is a knowledge that is put into a, like a linear form, right? That you can express. So the knowledge of chokma is a knowledge that you know, but it cannot be expressed. It cannot be understood with words or explained. But the bina comes and allows it to be ordered, if you want. Mm. יראת השם היא אוצרו, אוצרו לכל אילן. אצל יראת השם, זה שזה מילה טוב מלכות. וגם דה יראת השם נקית כל אינון נחלין, והוא את האווירה אוצר לכולהו. בגלל זה סמידה, שהוא קורא יראת השם, right, to fear השם. So it takes all the energies from everywhere, huh? and it brings them together. In other words, the fact that uh, we have יראת השם, brings together everything in one. Like someone that uh, has no Yerat Hashem, of course, who is uh, dispersed, who has no, there's nothing that unites his thoughts and uh, himself. But when it's Yerat Hashem, everything is united. מנהלן דכתיב עיניי ירבה לאכול וחשבון. שלק יש ריטן היא אין שירה שירים. יו אייז, ברכות, זאת אומרת ברכות, ברכות, זאת אומרת ברך, זאת אומרת פור, זאת אומרת ברכות, בחשבון עם דקאונט, עם נאמברס, בחשבון ודאי, עביד ואפיק עינון ברכות מים. אלה בחשבון, פושר פור, that this, this, this uh, pools, okay, if we can call it like this, okay, are done. Now here, the Zohar says that when, we, when it's a pool of uh, water, of course, we're not talking about uh, pools and, uh, and water like we know it. We're talking about ways how the abundance come, okay? So the abundance is held in one place, right? And then from there, it flows down. And everything is done with an order, with, uh, with uh, a measure. That's why it's called the Malchut, it's called Emuna. Why? Because it picks out everything with numbers 
ואמנות, right? אם הוא לא יודע אמנות, זה כמו אומן, right? זה כאילו נרטיזם, right? ובכל ההיגחי אמונה זה היה כמו, and everything is called אמונה. ומה היא אחר ישתחרר לעזרה ואמונתה דשא מידי דעלמה? על אחת כמה וכמה. And in everywhere you have to see the נאמנות, you have to see the two, two uh, explanations of נאמנות, you have to look at it as אמונה, and also at the אמנות, that everything is done with a precise order, you know, like Einstein said, when he looked, he said, he said, God doesn't play dice. Why? Because everything is so calculated, you know, everything, the forces, the energies, everything is so, this is all numbers, that's what it is, huh? Because you need numbers to hold this. Yivada kutsha v'lichu hava oda alehu lechol Yisrael raza leunat adilehon lechol ma de'avu. See, that's what Hashem show them, okay, the sword of the Emunah, the secret of the Emunah, of the one that were doing the Mishkan, for everything they were doing. Uh, why? Because with this measures, of course, there was a message. Okay, so now we read it, you know, this has to be uh, one tefah, this is three tefah, and we, well, we say this measurement, it's not just measurements. There's a reason for each one of this measurement, and each of this measurement with the other, like what is the correspondence. Amen, amen.